I'm always of the opinion that humanity could achieve more, become more uh, successful. Humanity will attain higher level of development. Nations can be rebuilt. Nations can change when individuals choose not to give up on their dreams, not to give up on the beauty they see within them, not to give up because of some challenges around them. The Bible says in all these things, brought together, stack up, we are more than a conqueror. What this message will do for you is it will give you a spirit that don't give up, a conquering spirit, the warrior spirit, the heart that takes it, that stretch forth, and know for certainty that success comes to them. One thing we found out in life is that you must stretch forth, you must know it belongs to you. As the world, the nature, the money power we snatch out of you the best of you tell yourself good things are happening around you tell yourself you are becoming prominent tell yourself you are not chickening out tell yourself you are a rising star you determine who you become in life and that depends on your orientation your thought pattern the way you reason the scripting of your mind. If you think something is holding you down, you will never rise above that thinking. Witches and wizards, demonic power, ancestral curses, put together, lack of education, poverty, moral uh, failings, why growing up, bring them together. Poor parenthood, or parenting, whatever, nothing should be able to deter you from reaching the higher calling of your life. It depends on you. Make up your mind today that nothing will keep you down. No dissenting voice, no accusation. In all these things, I am more than a conqueror. Tell yourself, you are raising up your head. Nothing is bound you down. You refuse to submit to oppressions, whether in your thought life or in your physical life. You cannot be enslaved. You are born with the mandate, the mandate of freedom, of the abundant life, of the buoyant life. That should be you. Look at the nations that are prospering, nations that are rising like America, it is because they refuse to accede to forces that want to keep them down. When they ask for their independence, they made up their mind that that is what they want. And you know what? They had it because that was what they demanded for. They didn't give up to the United Kingdom. Today, America is a nation to be reckoned with because they never give up. At this point, I want to present to us biblical characters for our edification. I'll be starting, starting with Abraham. Because many of us believe that our ancestral background, ancestral cause has enough weight to pull us down, not allow to reach forward. If that is so, God wouldn't have had need of you being given back to. If God felt you are a wasted person. You will have come to this world in the first place. Abraham was from a, as a background leading with idolatry, uh, things like that, things that has to do with demon worship and so on and so forth. He was from Mesopotamia. But at a point in time, there was a clear cut demarcation. He chose to follow Yahweh, the God of the whole earth the creator of heaven and earth. That separation began a new journey and story. And through him, a new generation rose. 
and they were the pleasant one to today because a man chose to live differently. If today you choose to live differently, ancestral cause will not hold you down. If you know, because the Bible says, those who are ignorant of the truth shall remain in bondage. You shall know the truth, and the truth you know and agree with shall set you free. Don't allow the evil of your parents hold you down forever. Yes, things might have gone wrong sometimes ago, but you turn a new me, and you find out that God will show mercy to you. He said, turn on to me, and I will turn to you. It is, there's no excuse for you living the downward life. Jacob was the second born. He has an elder brother, Esau. Yet, according to the will of God, Jacob, despite being the second born, was given right to the birthright. That is one factor. Being younger or older doesn't affect the purpose of God for your life. Open your mind. You will find grace within. Again, he failed in his pursuit. He used a wrong means to attract it to himself. He suffered for it. The consequence of cheating went to Laban, cheated out of his labor more than 10 times. Yet, when he turned to the Lord, mercy visited him. You might have risen, built up wealth, did a lot of things through wrongdoing. That should not create that mental hunting and mental pain, uh, demonic hunting. If you turn to the Lord, he understand. He will be merciful. If God was merciful to Jacob, and he still retained the bad right. God will be merciful to still give you a good life. He will not hunt you forever. He said it in the Bible that he knows we are made of weaker material. This was why to Jacob he said, Oh, warm Jacob. He knew how weak he was. God understands your intention. When you turn to him, he will overlook your past because you have repented. We open a new chapter for you. If only you turn to God, there's a new chapter waiting for you. Joseph was sold to, to slavery. The prisoner suffered many consequences. In the natural, was becoming hopeless because at a point in time, he ran to one of the stewards of Pharaoh that, please, speak me well. Feel when you get there, he was frantic. But when God's time came, he was not just released from the prison, a prisoner who was elevated. He became, he became the governor general of Egypt and by extension, economy advisor to the king. Through him, salvation came to the whole world. Because by his wisdom, there were enough food saved for the dry season of life. And also by his doing, God caused him to preserve the generation, the generation of Israel. No matter where you are, you can still rise above the tides of life. Joseph rose above the limitation, the imposition by his brethren. You too. Can rise. Never think because people hate you, you can no longer rise. No matter the thought of men, the thought of God overrides them all. God bless you. Think on this. We move on looking at other Bible characters. Some thought because they were once more, God is hunting them, wanting to destroy them. To these people, I'm presenting Mrs. Rahab. The Bible calls her. Rehab, the harlot. So she was, her name, her character has been smeared by immorality. Yet, on a particular moment, she met with God. The people, the men of Israel, journeyed to Jericho. They told her of wonderful things God has done. And she looked at it. What else 
can gain someone attraction like a God who's so mighty in battle in wonder. From that day, she made up her mind, let me follow this God. Despite her immoral background, it was a new chapter in her life. When Jericho was destroyed, she was saved. Not only herself, her family were saved. They were not just saved, they were absorbed into Israel as a family. Yet they were once strangers. You could be stranger to the commonwealth of Christ. When you open up, you'll be attracted, assimilated, as if you have done nothing wrong. Rahab the harlot did not just become an ordinary citizen of Israel. She became a channel of blessing, a reference that God thought it worthy that Rahab would be one of the progenitor of our Lord Jesus Christ. When God wants to save you, in despite your past, He assimilates you. This is why sometimes some holier than that cannot explain why God will pick somebody like you and me and call us His royal dear dear. Keep working on. Very soon, when you look back up, you see a clear difference. No matter who you are, where you are coming from, God still have has rooms large enough to absorb you and to assimilate you as if you have done nothing wrong. No sin is too dark that God cannot clean. Now let's move on to other fellows because of our time. Ruth, like Rahab, she wasn't a harlot. She has beautiful pedigree. Story, good story about her. She chose also to move from Moab to Israel through Naomi. Her partner, Opa, turned back home because she said she wants to serve the God of Israel. In the true sense of it, normally Moabites are not allowed to fraternize with Israel. And if they do and they have children, they will be caused to the tenth generation. So from this story, we can realize that why God was pushing other people away from Israel is to avoid pollution. But when the stranger chooses to live like his children, God accepts them. Immediately Ruth stepped into Israel, she found favor, she found grace. She came with nothing. Not having anything doesn't stop God. When God is interested in your case, he makes way where there seems to be no way. She came to Israel with nothing. Because of her standing with God, she got married to one of the eminent personalities in Israel. She was married to Boaz. She too could raise her shoulder after years of frustration and depression because she chose to follow God. You too turn to God despite your past. She was the mother of Boaz and of Obed. She got married to Boaz, mother of Obed. Obed gave her to Jesse. Jesse gave her to David. David was the lineage through which Jesus Christ came. A stranger contributed to the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you turn around, God can start a new journey of truthfulness with you. Daniel was a slave in captivity. Because of his standing with God, he became advisor to four kings. Without him, no king reigned. The beautiful concept, decree, leaders came as a result of his contribution because he was highly positioned above his mate. The Bible says in the book of Psalm and the book of Hebrew chapter 1, because you love righteousness and you hate iniquity, the Lord has highly exalted you above your contemporary. When you choose to follow God in high moral lifestyle, it is an open door to greater things. It doesn't matter where you are coming from, when you choose to be honest, live uh, loyal, live to be upright and truthful. Virtues that are significant in the kingdom 
your rising has no end. You keep going from one degree of glory to another. Look at this personality, you see nothing stop people who are addicted to follow our Lord Jesus Christ. David was the youngest of his family. He was inexperienced. Whether you are young, inexperienced, when God chooses you, he will aid you. It was this same David that killed and brought down Goliath. What God cannot do does not exist. Looking forward into the New Testament, we have many personalities. Timothy was a very young boy, but God used him mightily. Peter was an illiterate, yet he became the cornerstone of the church when Jesus Christ ascended to heaven. Paul was a murderer, yet God chose Paul to become chief among the apostles. Gideon was from an idolatrous family where they worship idol, but God chose him. He didn't mind the ancestral causes of his family. God stopped that flow. On his life, Jabesh was caused sorrow, but when he prayed that God that you may enlighten me and cause sorrow to be far from me, the Bible said God made him more honorable than his brethren. If you trust God, he will make a separation from your past. The accuser cannot continue tormenting you the rest of your life. If you make up your mind to turn to the Lord today, the accuser can hold you as long as you agree with him. No matter what you have done in life, no matter how much you have failed the Lord, no matter the evil you have committed in time past, no matter what your parents have done, no matter your financial background, no matter your status today, turn to the Lord. Tell him, Lord, make use of me. Let my life become a wonder. A wonder. Take away the sorrow. Take away the limitation. Cause me to break past. You just find out that things begin to happen in cascading form that you begin to wonder. Is it the same you? That one a once fisherman become a holy apostle, a one a murderer becoming one that the Lord will come with with the task of saving the lost. A Gideon from an idolatrous family became becoming the general God depends on him, whose shoulder the whole of Israel depends on. You too can do amazing things if only you will trust that nothing can or should hold you back. Will you allow anything to hold you back? I believe no. You will move forward from today. In all these things, we are more than a conqueror. God bless you. I am Wale Adewumu. I will be happy if you share this video with others. I know it has blessed you to bless others too. Have a blessed, a blessed day.